Hey guys, welcome back to Cocktail Cards. Today we're gonna to show you how to make the Hawaiian Tiki Classic, the Mai Tai. Now this is one of my favorite, favorite, not only tiki drinks, but just one of my favorite drinks ever. And when I'm in Hawaii, this is pretty much all I drink. So uh, what I'm actually gonna do is, I'm gonna stay very, very close to the Trader Vic version. Now that is very similar to what you will find in Hawaii. I just have a couple little tweaks, mostly the garnishes, and I'll kind of point those out where you can add and subtract certain things to be a little bit more of what you're probably used to if you go to Hawaii right now. But this is really gonna focus around Trader Vic's version, which is the original Mai Tai recipe. Now, if you are looking for something that looks like this, that's more of a tropical vacation cruise line type of Mai Tai. It's gonna be very fruity, there's orange juice, all sorts of juices in there. That is a whole different cocktail. Now, I will make a video at some point on how to make that version of the Mai Tai, but this is more of the traditional classic Mai Tai recipe. All right, let's talk about the ingredients for the Mai Tai. So first of all, we need to talk about the rum. Now, to do the original rum in the Mai Tai, you can't, the bottles sell for, I think, 2,500 bucks, maybe even more. Uh, and I've heard, you know, different opinions on which type of rum to use. And when I go to Hawaii, I'm always asking the bartenders, and you know, you can go anywhere with a rum agricole, you can do spiced rum, Jamaican rum. I think for the sake of something that's really easy to get, and it always, always turns out a good Mai Tai, I like to just use a good spice rum. I'm gonna be using Plantation for this one. I recommend experimenting with some different rums and see which one you like, but we're not gonna to get totally to the original type of rum. We're just not gonna be able to pull that off. So, secondly, we need an orange liqueur. Now I'm gonna do a little mini orange liqueur rant here. Uh, you're gonna have two sides of an orange liqueur. One side's gonna be triple sec, Cointreau is also a triple sec, and that's gonna be uh, a liqueur that really focuses on just sweet tones and really, really strong orange flavors. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, you're gonna have some orange liqueurs like Grand Marnier and uh, Dry Curacao. And those are gonna be brandy-based orange liqueurs. So they have a little bit more complexity to the flavors. Now, if you have the choice between the two, I would definitely go with a brandy-based orange liqueur for this cocktail. It just really, really works, you know, in the whole summation of this drink. But if all you have lying around is Cointreau or a triple sec, that's totally fine. Don't get discouraged, it'll still be a delicious drink. Uh, next, we have Orgeat. Orgeat is an almond syrup and it can be a little bit of a pain to make on your own. So I did buy mine from Amazon. I tend to purchase mine on Amazon if uh, when I'm stocking for my home bar. Now, I'll leave a link down below to the Orgeat that I used. Uh, you don't want to really skimp on this one. I know there's some syrups out there that you might get like squirted into your Starbucks coffee. Try to avoid that. That's not that good. Um, try to get something that's organic, you know, like little thought into. They're not overly expensive. You can find them at grocery stores and you definitely can find them on Amazon. So I'll leave a link down below for that. Uh, next, we'll need a simple syrup. Now, the original recipe calls for a rock candy syrup and that's gonna be a rich, simple syrup. So two parts sugar to one part water. Now, if you have the time or any of it laying around, definitely try it. I've made it with regular simple syrup. I've made it with rock candy syrup. Eh, they're both really good. I think the change is pretty, pretty minimal. Uh, the difference between the two, it's only a small ingredient in this drink anyway. And I've even asked bartenders in Hawaii uh, if they make rock candy syrup and some of them say they don't even do it. It's not that big of a deal. So uh, if you wanna be really authentic, definitely make the rock candy syrup. If not, simple syrup will work just fine. Next, we need some limes so we can get some fresh lime juice. And we're also going to garnish with our already squeezed lime. And we'll go over the garnishes when we get there. Uh, we're also going to have some mint for the garnish as well. That might seem a little different than what you're used to uh, if you've had this in Hawaii. And we'll talk garnishes when we get there. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you how to make the drink. So this will be a shaking cocktail. So we're gonna go ahead and build this out in our pint glass or our shaker. And the very first thing we're gonna do is add two ounces of our rum.
Go ahead and grab your orange liqueur and we're gonna add half of an ounce. All right, next we're gonna give our orgeat a good shake here. And after you give it a shake, we're gonna add half of an ounce. Next, go ahead and grab your lime and we're gonna squeeze out one ounce of fresh lime juice. All right, now, like I said, we will be using a squeezed lime as a garnish. So go ahead and keep one of these to the side for your garnish. And we're gonna keep going till we get one ounce here. Then we're gonna finish it off with a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Next, we're gonna add ice and give this drink a shake for about eight to 10 seconds. Now I like to put some fresh ice into my glass before I strain it out. And I've also seen people serve this drink with crushed ice. And uh, while I was in Hawaii, I've never had this served to me with crushed ice, but uh, I like the idea of that. I have had it with crushed ice. It's very delicious. So if you have the ability to crush some ice or you have some available, by all means, definitely serve this drink with crushed ice. It's pretty darn good that way. So we're gonna go ahead and strain our drink into our glass. So you might see a different garnishes for this drink. When I'm in Hawaii, I got cherries and pineapples a lot. I'm just gonna garnish with the traditional Trader Vic version, which is your squeezed lime, which should give you kind of an effect of like an island. And then we're also going to have some mint. So go ahead and smack your mint on your glass to kind of let out those essential oils here. And then you're gonna put the mint in your glass so it looks kind of like a palm tree on a deserted island here. All right, and there you have it, the Mai Tai. Oh, that's so good. But I do also have one bonus component to throw on here. Now, this isn't in the original recipe. However, in Hawaii, everyone seems to do it. And that is layering on one layer of dark rum on top. And you know what? I am a component of adding more booze to my drink. So this is a black or dark rum that you layer on top to just get a nice layered effect here. There you are. That's how I like my Mai Tais. All right, now let's give it another sip. Mm. So good. Man, okay, you got the rum. Uh, that orjad, that almond syrup is just, oh man, it's so good. That with the lime juice, and then you got that orange liqueur working in there as well. And then that mint just really giving off that effervescence. It's awesome, incredible drink, just makes you feel like you're sitting on a beach in Hawaii. So good. I love this drink, it's incredible. You need to try it, the Mai Tai. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the Mai Tai recipe. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give us a thumbs up down below. And if you're new here, please do consider subscribing. We're gonna be coming out with over hundreds of different recipes on this channel, so you're not gonna wanna miss it. And in the comments down below, let me know if you've ever had the Trader Vic Mai Tai, if you've ever had one in Hawaii, 
And uh, also, if you like to do anything different with this cocktail, let me know in the comments. I'm always curious about different variations on this drink, and I love to hear what you guys have to offer in the comments down there. So that's it for me in this video. I'm AJ with Cocktail Cards, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.